Hi, this is Sherry Rice Smith of EFTforChristians.com. Today I would like to um, go through all of the tapping um, procedures, how to do it, uh, explain some of the um, why we use what we use, the different tapping spots, etc. for all of you novices who haven't yet um, really sat down and studied this whole thing. Um, remember that EFT is not a substitute for em any kind of emergency or any other medical or psychological um, advice. So if you feel you need help in any of those areas, please contact your own personal physician. All right, I welcome you in the name of the Lord Jesus. This is Christian EFT. Uh, just so you know, the tapping spots we use are all the same, whether um, one is a believer or isn't a believer. But let me kind of go through this and explain to you what we're doing. First off, when we use EFT, we're tapping on acupuncture points. Now, why do we use the ones that we use? The reason those specific areas are picked, and there's more than just the face and the upper body, is because that is where the meridians, now remember meridians are a known scientific fact that they exist, that's where the meridians are closest to the skin. I've seen people take a skin galvometer, which is a little gizmo about six inches uh, long, um, kind of, it kind of looks like um, a pen, but with a light on the end. And it actually will pick up electrical activity. And so I've seen them run them along the different meridians. And the thing buzzes anyway. But when you hit these tapping spots, it really buzzes really, really loudly. Because that's where it's close to the, to the surface. And that's where the electrical activity is. Now you could use, you know, you could, there's meridians all over. Because they kind of go along the blood vessels. And you could tap anywhere. But you'd have to tap really, really, really hard. And you would probably bruise yourself. So uh, that's not, you know, it's not really a good idea. So there are specific places. I'm going to teach you exactly where those are. Um, and I, I need you to get as close to those as you can. Um, EFT is extremely forgiving, but you know, you don't want to be the tapping spots here. You don't want to be tapping down here. You want to get as close to it as you can. Use as many fingers as you can. When you tap, you tap five, six, seven, eight times on each spot. I don't necessarily need you to stand there and count that. You'll just eventually get the rhythm, um, and then that's you just keep going, um, and you just go through the points. So um, to begin with, I start at the top of the head. There are people who do start at the eyebrow, eyebrow point. There is no, it doesn't matter where you start. If you start here, you're going to end here. If you start here, you're going to, you know, you're going to end down on, on your side. So it makes no difference. Whatever you feel you're most comfortable with, you go ahead and do that. It makes absolutely no difference. Okay, so the one is we do the top of the head. How you find that is you take your fingers from the top of your ears and, you know, take your two um, long fingers there and touch it. And it's right in the middle of, uh, right middle of your forehead. Um, the reason, that's a new point, that wasn't one that Gary Craig originally used. Um, it's actually called, it has many names in Chinese medicine, but Tree of Life is one of them because there are like four meridians. It's, there's meridians coming up from the side and there's a meridian that goes up your back and a meridian that goes up the front and they all meet there. Um, and so it's a, it's a fairly nice point for that. Um, the second point is right here on the bridge of your nose uh, by your eyebrow, the end of your eyebrow. I use two fingers there. I use four fingers on the top of my head. Um, the second or the third spot is on this right here on the side of your eye. You've got your temple move in on the bone um, just next. Don't stick your finger in your eye. And I use one or two there. The next uh, point is called the under the eye point. It's an inch down from your pupil, so it's pretty high up on that orbit bone. You tap there. Uh, the next one is under your nose, directly under the septum of your nose. I use two fingers. The next one is under is your chin point, um, and that's the crease between your lip and your bottom chin, that, that crease that sits there. You tap there six or eight times. The next one is your collarbone. This one's a little trickier. Find that notch at the bottom of your throat. There's a little bony notch there below your thyroid. Go down one inch and go over two. Um, the, this is a K27 point. It's the only one that I actually know the right the number of. And it's supposedly where your clavicle, your sternum, and your first rib meet. 
get close. Um, your entire chest is is gridded and crisscrossed with meridians, but uh, so you probably will hit it anyway. Use a couple fingers on that one. Um, the next one we use is under your arm, about six inches down from your armpit, right on your side. That spot on me tends to be sore, um, so it may or may not be for you. You will find often that these spots are sore. Um, my guess is that we feel that's where your congestion is, and my guess also is it's probably the same, the spot that what's really, really sore is your lymph nodes and your lymph system down through there because it gets congested and clogged up, uh, especially if you, after you've had an infection. Um, another spot that we use for the setup is that fleshy part here of your hand, and I use all four fingers to tap on that. Uh, in the original recipe with Gary Craig, he used the finger points. We don't often use them, but you're welcome to do so. The finger points are on the side of these fingers, so I hold my hand up like this and then tap on the side. It's kind of that upper corner of the nail. So there, here, here. You, Gary skipped the ring finger and went to this one. If you use the ring finger, it's no, cat, no catastrophic thing. The reason he skipped that is because these two fingers run down the same meridian. And so in his engineering mind, efficiency is everything. So why duplicate um, tapping that meridian? Um, speaking of this meridian, it's considered the triple warmer in Chinese medicine. The chip, this, one, I, this spot I find just really great for anxiety. Um, so, and how, how you would do that, you can tap on these fingers or take your, your finger and run down between those, between these two fingers. And you can feel right here in between those two finger bones, there's, you know, just a little dip. And I take and tap all four, all four um, fingers on that and just tap it. This is one that I use in church. Um, I teach the kids in class to tap under their desk, you know, stick their finger under the desk clandestinely. They can tap on that with test anxiety, you know, as the teacher passes out um, the test paper because they're freaking out that, you know, uh-oh, here comes the math test and I'm, I can't do it or my history test or my science test. Tap here and it tends to settle down um, that physiology. There are other spots here on the wrist that you can use. Um, tap your two your two wrists and that spots a couple about three inches down from where your wrist crease is. You can use that. I'm not going to put my leg up to show you. There's an ankle point um, that you can use. A lot of times four inches up from your foot. I'll just kind of pat the ankle on both sides. Um, you can do that. The problem, the problem with that one is that don't use it in the first or last trimester pregnancy because you can put the woman in labor. That's actually what that point can be used for. So if anyone's pregnant, just avoid that ankle point at all. Um, another one that, again, I'm not going to stand up and show it to you is if you're walking with your hands or standing with your hands straight down on your um, thighs, right where your fingertips, you know, are, you can just tap on the outside of your legs. And, uh, you know, that's another handy spot. Um, I do that sometimes, you know, if you're walking and you're thinking about um, something that was going on in life that's causing a little anxiety, I'll just tap there because it's pretty innocuous and no one really knows what you're doing. They just think you're tapping and patting your legs. Okay, so let me just walk through what this actually looks like and I'm going to make up uh, anxiety. Let's just pretend we have some anxiety. I want you to tap along with and insert your own emotion and um, you know let's just do this so you go to the karate chop point here that fleshy part of your hand I take these fingers um, and I'll start tapping I'm going to do the short form or the or the short basic we call it the short basic recipe uh, which will not include the finger points uh, part of it is uh, Gary felt or uh, that uh, we shortened up and didn't have to tap on these finger points because as you tap on the karate chop point and as you tap your face and body points you're stimulating these finger you know you're stimulating these meridians because you're using these fingers so you're getting a double bang for your buck so let's just do this so even though i have this anxiety 
and I feel it in my chest. It kind of feels like a crushing pressure. I know that God loves me, and therefore I love and accept myself. You do it three times. Even though I have this crushing anxiety in my chest, and I have to, I know pretty much where it came from. It's my event today, and I had you know a disagreement with my neighbor. I deeply and completely accept myself because I know that Jesus went to the cross for me, and he died for me, and he loves me. Even though I have this anxiety in my chest, I know that my Savior loves me, and therefore I accept myself and all my faults. Top of your head, all this anxiety, eyebrow point, all this anxiety, side of your eye, all this anxiety, under your eye, all this anxiety, under your chin, under your nose, I'm sorry, all this anxiety, uh, the chin point, all this anxiety, collarbone, all this anxiety, under your arm, all this anxiety. I would do uh, probably two rounds of that, maybe three, and then what I do is, because you can feel yourself start to decompress, and then I will switch to remaining, so let's do that. Even though I have this remaining anxiety in my chest, I know, I know as I know that my Savior loves me, and therefore I hope one day to accept myself as much as he does. Remember, you can have any acceptance, acceptance statement that you want. You don't have to use mine. Use whatever it is. Use scripture, whatever you feel is most appropriate for you. Even though I have this anxiety, remaining anxiety in my chest, I know my Savior loves me. And therefore, I love my and accept myself. Even though I have this remaining anxiety and I feel it in my chest, I know Jesus died for my sins because he loves me. And therefore, I accept myself in all my faults and all my ways and all my sins. Remaining anxiety, remaining anxiety, remaining anxiety, remaining anxiety, remaining anxiety, remaining anxiety remaining anxiety, remaining anxiety. Um, there, and that, that's the short of it. You can do um, as many rounds as you need. Uh, you can change up how you feel. Perhaps you no longer feel anxious. You have another emotion. Then set it up again with the setup and, and then tap two or three rounds of that and then set it up again. Do a remaining round or two and then and just watch yourself decompress as you pull out um, all of the emotions and all of the different aspects of whatever is going on in your life. Um, I hope that explains um, a little bit of the background of what's going on. And um, again, if you have any questions or anything you'd like me to address in a YouTube video, please feel free to email me at eftforchristians at gmail.com. And uh, again, pick up our newest book, Charity Verkler Kayembe and I wrote, that explains the, a lot of the theological reasoning behind why we should be using EFT. Grab a copy of that off of Amazon, Kindle's there too, or go ahead and go to my website, eftforchristians.com, and uh, buy the copy off there. It's a dollar cheaper than Amazon, and I'll be happy to mail it to you. I'll pay the postage, and I'll even autograph it for you. Okay. Good night for now. Um, I'm just, I'll keep making videos. And if you guys have questions, please uh, feel free to ask all you want. Okay, God bless you. He loves you very, very much. Bye-bye.